Good day everyone, I am Carlos Mantilla Delag from BTL Ed 1B and today's video I am going to identify the external and internal parts of the fish anatomy. Ang gagamitin, gagamitin natin is da ay um, bangus or the milkfish. So let's start to identify the external parts of the fish. So we have the fins. So the primary or the uh, function of the fins is to maintain the position of the fish. So they can steer, um, they can <coughs> uh, stop. So uh, madami tayong tinatawag sa mga fins. This one is the caudal fin. This one is the spiny dorsal fin. This one is the anal fin. And this one is the um, uh, pectoral fin. And this one is the uh, pelvic fin. <clears throat> and this one, ito makikita ninyo, this one called opericulum or gill cover. It protects the sensitive gills. Kung baga, kung ang gill cover or kung sa tao pa, ito yung ribs ng tao. Na kung saan, pinoprotektahan nila yung uh, lungs ng tao. So, here is the eyes. The eyes is uh, responsible for detecting colors under the water. And here, makikita ninyo yung nostril or nares. Responsible for detecting odors. And the mouth, here, ito yung mouth. Responsible for um, sense of taste. So, nakikita ninyo. Itong line na to, tinatawag yung lateral line, which is uh, the sensory organs na kung saan na detect nila or na sense nila yung water current at pressure under the water. So we have here the vent, ito vent na kung saan makikita ninyo dito um, ang urinary at reproductive uh, tract ng isang isda. So Yan lang ang uh, external parts of the fish anatomy. So let's proceed to the internal parts of the fish anatomy. So So, let us now identify the internal fish anatomy. So, first we have the gills. This is the gills. The gills are the breathing apparatus of the fish and are highly vascularized. That gives them a bright red color. It covers by opericulum or the gill cover. Then, we have the spine. The spine is the primary structural framework upon which the fish body is built. It connects to the skull at the front of the fish and to the tail at the rear. The spine is made out of numerous vertebrae which are hollow and housed to protect the delicate spinal cord. And also we have the spinal cord. It connects the brain to the rest of the body and uh, relays sensory information from the body to the brain as well as um, instruction from the brain to the rest of the body. So, we have this one, the brain. This is the control center of the fish, where both automatic functions such as um, respiration and higher behavior occurs. All sensory information is processed here. And we have the swim or air bladder. This hollow gas field balance organ allows a fish to conserve energy by uh, maintaining neutral uh, buoyancy or suspending in water. Uh, fish caught from very deep water sometimes need to have air released from their uh, swim bladder before they can do release and return to deep water because of the uh, 
different in atmospheric pressure of the water surface. And we have the stomach and intestines. Um, this uh, organ will break down food and absorb nutrients. Fish such as bass and um, have fairly short uh, intestine because such as food they easily chemically break down the uh, break down and digest. And we have the uh, vent. This is the site of the waste elimination from the fish body. It also uh, outlet for eggs or sp sperm during spawning. And this one, uh, the liver, a color uh, black. This is important organ has a number of functions. It assists in digestion by uh, secreting enzymes that break down fats. And it also serves as a storage area for fats and carbohydrates. The liver also is important in uh, destruction of um, old food, bloods, cells, and uh, maintaining proper blood chemistry as well as um, playing a role in nitrogen or waste excretion. So we have the heart. Uh, this circulates blood throughout the body. Um, oxygen and digested nutrients are delivered to the cells of various organs through the blood. And that is the external and internal parts of the fish anatomy. Hope na marami kayong natutunan. And that would be all. Thank you for watching.